Uh, yeah, I thought I improved on some things overall. I think uh, still some things I need to work on and, and clean up for sure. But I thought overall it was, uh, you know, it was improvement. What has Malik done for, for, for the offense? I mean, you see the explosiveness and stuff like that. How much easier does he make your job? Uh, yeah, he's done a really good job. Um, come in and, and played well. I think, uh, you know, in, in matchup situations where, uh, you know, he's one-on-one -on -one with a guy. He's won and, and made explosive plays for us time and time again. So um, he's done a good job, uh, been a big help to us so far. Have you noticed any teams trying to take him out of the game already in the sense of doubling him so you can't go to him? Um, yeah, I mean, I think there were points in the game in Washington, you know, certainly not the whole game, but uh, certain times where you could tell the coverage uh, changed based off of, of, off of him and how he was – playing and, and some of the looks he was getting so um, you know we, we got to be ready for that and understand that um, you know when you have a player like that and, and um, you feature him like that you know defenses are going to adjust. You thought that player brought up last week being more decisive and trusting yourself. Do you think you did a better job or do you kind of uh, uh, Yeah I do think I did a better job. I think still some areas to, to improve on and work on but overall I thought I did better. DJ Malik seemed to take that drop on fourth and four pretty hard last week. Did you talk to him after the game, and, and what do you think will be able to bounce back this week? Yeah, he's a competitor and, and holds himself to a high standard. I think you realize that pretty quickly, spending any time with him. He expects to make every play. and um, Yeah, it was a tough one, uh, tough one for him, but I know he'll bounce back. He's a confident guy, and um, I think it was pretty clear we wouldn't have been in that situation without his performance and all he had done throughout the game. And, um, you know, he'll be he'll be back and, and he'll continue to be a huge part of what we do. Daniel, is there any talk um, from the coaches to the players or the players amongst themselves about 0-2? Uh, I mean, I think everyone realizes our record. You know, I think um, everybody understands that, but um, no one's discouraged or no one's letting that affect our preparation and how hard we work going into the game. So, um, you know, there's a great energy and, and feel in the building still, and I think that that's important and important to our preparation, important to our process, and, and making sure we're practice, practicing well and, and preparing to play well. So, um, yeah, we, we know the record, but it's a long season, and, and uh, we got a good football team. How do you expect your team to respond this weekend at Cleveland? expect us to respond well, play well, um, come out ready to go, um, and play a good, play a good game. So, um that's what, that's what we all expect. I think um, got to have a good week in practice. We had a good start today, and, and we'll build off of it. So, um, yeah, expect to play well. The Browns defense is good. It's even better at home. How do you deal with that? Yeah, they've got a good defense, got good players at, at all three levels, really, and uh, a lot of speed. Um, so we'll have a game plan. I think, you know, obviously the pass rush is, is something – uh, we got to take into account and, and plan for, and, and uh, we'll do that. But it's uh, it's always about us. It's always about you know focusing on yourself and making sure re you're ready to go. How much do you need though to have a plan with Miles Garrett? Yeah, he's a good player for sure. He's he's a good player. Has ability to affect the game uh, from a pass rush standpoint and the run game also. So uh, got to have a plan, a protection plan. Uh, luckily, we got At. At's. Um, you know, an incredible player, and, and uh, we're very confident in, in uh, that matchup. Does he move around at all, go from side to side? Or is he a little pretty? bit, yeah. He'll, he'll move around a little bit, so we'll get a sense for, for how he's uh, how he's playing. Daniel, what's your message to the fans after the Rocky start? Um, yeah, we, I mean, we have a high standard for, uh, for ourselves and what, what we can be, um, what this team can be. We're confident. Uh, and getting things going, and uh, we're working hard to do that. So uh, nobody's happy with, with where we are from a record standpoint, but um, we understand what we need to do to, to turn it around and, and uh, catch some momentum. So, you know, no one's, uh, no one's freaking out. I think we understand that uh, in order to get where we need to go, we need to uh, focus on what we're doing from a preparation standpoint, and then it's about going out and playing well on Sunday. What do you see the Browns do in their scheme? What are the teams with losing percentage? I think they're number one right now in an opponent with losing percentage. Yeah, I mean, we played two games, so I think looking at uh, some stats like that, you know, you don't, you know, you can kind of get lost in a little bit of that, but um, good, good pass rush, good players at every level. Um, they're aggressive, you know, so all those things that good defenses do, uh, we'll be ready for it. Has Malik shown the ability to beat a double team? Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, guys can get doubled in different ways and, and zone coverage and man coverage and, um, you know, how you how you scheme or how you respond to that depends on that. But uh, we're confident he can uh, he can be, yeah, double coverage. Do you see any parallels to last year? I know week two is one, but you had such a good game. You had a good game this past week, too. I guess going into week three, any parallels? I know each season is different. Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, I think... Um, I think you improve. Um, you want to improve every week, but I think particularly one week one to week two, you're looking to make some some big improvements. Um, I think every year is different. Last year we uh, we won, but you know had some big injuries and, and uh, obviously didn't play the following week. So every every season's different, um, and uh, we got to approach it that way. But uh, we're confident we've made improvements, and we'll continue to do that.